Welcome back to my videos. Uh, this will be a continuation of the video part one that I did on uh, 3D printing and 3 injection. You remember the small problem I had uh, in the video part one. At the end of the uh, daisy chain I had a leak product of my in inadequate capping of the um, T. Well, I went back to the drawing board and I designed an L. Just one barb tube. I send it to uh, Next Line Manufacturing, and three, four days later, voila, I have a part. So we are going to test now the system, and we're also going to test this new way to deliver the material via a pressurized uh, vessel. I have three quarts of water in this vessel, which is almost three quarters of a gallon. Let's see how it takes it. Let's see what kind of a pressure. I really don't expect to go over 40 because I don't think the system is capable. But 40 will be a high end of the uh, pressure on this system. So I'll try to make this video short and summarize and let's get to work. The tree is, the tree is in good condition. The weather is perfect for this, uh, sunny and hot. So the tree should take uh, the liquid. Let's see how long it takes to get three quarters of a gallon. We're going to drill always using our face shield and protecting our face. We're going to drill here. And we're going to tap. And we're going to keep moving on all around the tree. I can see because of the bubbles moving in that the tree is really taking a good amount of uh, fluid in the six, uh, six uh, T's that we have, C injectors that we have going into the tree. Everything is going real well. At 35 pounds, at 40, that's exactly where I want it to be. 40 pounds. I don't know if you can see the bubbles moving. Moving really fast. We have no leaks of any kind. But remember, this was the leaking tea, the leaking injector. Now it's fine. No leaks. This is from this humidity there is from purging the air out of the line. Everything is working real well. I appreciate Next Line Manufacturing for doing this. This would have been impossible a few years ago, even a few months ago. We're reaching the end. There's no more water coming out. Uh, we did the uh, three quarters of a gallon in about seven, eight minutes. Nothing. It's just empty. It's and the line is moving. What's in the line is getting moved into the tree. That's what the bubbles are telling us. It's all the bubbles. So it, it did a very good job in a very short period of time. So right now, not to put too much air, uh, not to push too much air in the tree, we are going to uh, stop the infusion. We are ready for uh, part two. Now I have pressurized this vessel at uh, 70 pounds. And what we're going to see now is how long does it take, if it could take 50, 60 pounds of pressure, and if we lose the integrity on the system at the tube or at the teeth. Just in case something pops from the tree this way. Beginning to flow, 20 pounds, 30 pounds. I'm going to let the system now stabilize a bit and get rid of the bubbles, which are getting, we're getting rid of them right now. 40, 40 pounds, and the pressure is dropping very quickly. That means the tree is taking in all this fluid. 45, wow, incredible. 50, it's at 50, I've been steady. The pressurized vessel is down at 65, and I can keep it with the valve at 50. Incredible. I don't see any leaks. You see, if I shut the water, 
the pressure drops because the line, the tree is taking all the liquid. I open the valve a bit and the pressure starts going up. Forty. I really don't want to push it above fifty because fifty will be plenty for this type of activity. I don't want to break one of my teeth. I'm just going to leave it flowing at around 52, 53. Let's check now. The teeth, everything's working real well. No leaks. Remember when we had the problem? It's perfect. Thank you to Next Line Manufacturing for being so quick. Incredible. These teeth are holding uh, 52, 53 pounds of pressure. Let's take it now to. 55, let's take it to 60. Right. The pressurized vessel has gone down to 60, so I don't think we're going to get more than 60. But 60 is a remarkable, remarkable for this. Truly incredible. It took like another gallon of water in about less than 10 minutes. Uh, the system is still holding pressure here at 50 pounds. All the water is gone, and now we're going to do a test. For me to reach this 50 pounds, uh, 60 pounds of pressure, uh, I have to do it in a way that I can remove the tee without effort. So we're going to check to see if the tees were not hammered too hard in to the point that they will be destroyed. Effortless. Total integrity. They are like new. Perfect. You read a lot what to do with the hole once you drill your tree. I've been doing this for a couple of years now and I think I like to put a wood plug into it. Uh, contrary to what some people say, not to do anything. I come back a year later, you don't even see the plug. There's no bad signs around it, so that's that's what I like, and that's what I do. You see how good it looks. If you would paint this dark, you would not even notice they're there. <laughs> 